Hey folks, I'm going to do a comparison of component testing with Cypress versus Playwright versus VTest. So it's the first time I heard anyone is doing something like this. So we will quickly just open Cypress here. So I open CP, right, and then it's up. So uh, hands down, Cypress best developer experience puts a component in the DOM. You can inspect it. You can also inspect it a little bit in the others, but you can interact with it. I think this is like the next level of insanity, right? Like you can actually play with the component. This is fantastic, right? So you can't beat this. Uh, it's high up there. Okay. So yes, you know, visual components, all that stuff. Great. And so playwright component testing is in beta and has many shortcomings. Um, I love though how like just like with E2E tests and um, you can like run everything parallel locally and boom everything runs so it's fantastic right so Cypress has to um, catch up there for sure um, of course like things are visual you know you see components very nice uh, but I'll, when I show the code I'll show you like what are the shortcomings there's so many um, and then this weekend I tried rewriting the same test, or it's like about 10 tests or something. I tried writing them in D test and I really liked it. Um, as you see it in the same test, like yeah, it's incredible. You see a UI here and you can run one test at a time. You cannot interact with it, but you can at least inspect it. Okay, uh, and then change to dark mode for me, I think here. Yeah, so keep it light mode. I like dark mode, but I can see the components sometimes. Like if I change this, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not, but like if I have, anyway, whatever, you can change. Um, so I do like retest a lot. So now let's look at the code. So let's say, let me just open a new tab. So these are all in the same repo. Um, now, okay, so let's just, like same complex enough test. So a lot of shortcomings with uh, Playwright. Playwright in the middle. A lot of shortcomings with Playwright. Uh, the dot fill is not working. Uh, or at least I can't get it to work. Uh, selectors, like if you want to select by a selector, uh, those are iffy. In fact, yeah, like if, if in the repo we look for play, Playwright is in beta and I like look at those. Let's see. Uh, those are the shortcomings, right? So I, then pretty much this um, filling form is not seeming to work. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it, it's iffy here and there. Yes, they're in beta. Okay. But like, it's not ready for production. I am actually, though, uh, looking forward to like what they do, right? Because I really like their endpoint testing, their performance. Amazing. Um, now, how to like zoom in at the same time and look at stuff. Cypress, hands down, all the time, the shortest, more concise, the most concise, the most elegant code, all of them. However, you know, you have to read the documentation, you have to understand it, you have to see how it works. Versus, you know, ninja style brute force, let me figure this out uh, with my pre-existing knowledge and do it. So 90% of developers are the latter. So of course they will like uh, play right. Uh, like syntax and whatnot, like better, right? Okay, we'll give it that. But most concise, beautiful code, always in Cypress. Most best developer experience, always in Cypress. Uh, Playwright, it's not ready yet for component testing. Um, Vtest, okay, why I really, really like it? Well, okay, it, it takes plenty of code to do the same thing, as you see, like 70 lines versus 100, okay? Uh, but here are some of the reasons I really like it. Well, first off, it's just like RTL. I, I made this helper file, for instance, like it has the, a, like the wrapper handler, right? And it has its own described it, blah, blah, all these things, like, but it uses user demand from, so it already uses testing library, right? So if you have pre-existing tests, uh, you, if you just import render from vtest, you're pretty much set, right? You pretty much, you can take your RTL tests uh, that, run without the UI and convert them to vtest. And not only they run way faster than Jest, but you have a UI. So I think this is a good deal. 
Uh, the setup and whatnot is not that <laughs> straightforward, but I think I think I did a meta setup like this is how it should be done. And if VTest creators don't think this way, let them check out this repo. So one for browser, one config for headless, and then we have like a base config and uh, we basically merge and deep merge and import from them. And uh, for each one, we're using the playwright UI, but we're running headless versus headed, right? And it seems like I can do anything I want in this situation. Um, if you look further in the code, like it's very similar to RTL. I mean, it's RTL basically, right? Uh, we use Mac Service Worker for network marking. Um, I actually should maybe even like, try this a little bit, but so much in Indian play, right? Uh, but so much isn't working. Like playwright network marking, yes, that's great in E2, but so much isn't working with uh, component testing in playwright. I, like, I don't want to dig deep, right? So let, let them get to a better place first, and then maybe we reevaluate playwright later. But overall, I like it better than uh, playwright. So um, let me see for, oh wait. Like, uh, you basically have to await every single thing. Let's see, this movie list component here. And if you look at movie list uh, details, right? Uh, yeah, it's like, you don't have to await the expects. Uh, that's like, nice, okay. I mean, it's less work. Yes, you, like, like with everything else, you can do things with playwright, uh, but maybe it's more work. Um, other than that, I mean, it's fine, but yes, they have to get better. Uh, there's no marking in Playwright, you, but you can use sign on. So, like your whole the whole Node ecosystem is your toolbox. You pick your stuff from there. You pick your stuff from Playwright, and then use it. Um, so that's that. So I don't I don't think in the component testing space Playwright is there, but uh, that team is like they're investing in the core product like crazy. The E2E tool is amazing. Um, I gave my opinion of Cypress versus Playwright before. So Cypress, super elegant, nice code, nice API. Playwright, super performance. Um, like with, with Cypress, you work on performance and stability uh, at scale when you have thousands of tests. But Playwright, you work on developer experience. Like you make things easy to work with. For instance, uh, like in, in E2E, I have like a network helper here that makes it look like a Cypress intercept a little bit versus like you know, 200 lines just to map the network, right? So stuff like that. Anyway, uh, this is not about end to end. We can talk about that some other time. But uh, V test, really good. If you have RTL, just a little bit of setup and start using the render from uh, V test, and you have UI. I think it's brilliant. Uh, also, um, Let's, let's look at like let's look at the performance. So I, I am an expert user of Cypress. Right? I know how to run it like uh, well, like fast. Right? So I do have a script here, run CT fast. Like it will turn off the screenshots, all that stuff, um, videos, command log, everything. Right. Uh, so the leanest possible. Right. And you can see this is like I don't know, maybe like ten seconds for ten tests. We will say three seconds here, but the time to start all that. As you see, it's, it's long. Uh, playwright, right now, even the tests are flaking for some reason. Uh, like you saw me, so I'm not going to compare. Uh, so let's just run VTest and our VTest run. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, you see it, right? like three seconds. So, um, so that's something, right? And even if you look at the CI, so I have component tests running in parallel, and we'll just look at one. So this one took uh, 49 seconds, although it's running, hold on, this is the E3. Uh, component tests, so it took one minute, two seconds total for the job, like installing and all that, starting. Like this is what, like not installing, but like starting of Cypress, that takes time, right? Like closing, starting, these are um, taking time, right? I think this is, and we're using meat, by the way, so this is like the fastest as it can be. Uh, but like, let's look at the V test job here, V test component test. Not paralyzed, single, single job, and uh, 45 seconds, right? So apples to apples, uh, both are installing. I, I think, yeah, this one even has its own, so I kept that the same, both are installing. 
one minute, two seconds versus 45 seconds. Uh, high level job that's running like half the test versus full everything, right? So that gives you an idea and like the local performance gives you an idea. Um, I have suffered, I've used such component testing at scale and uh, the performance became a problem when you have like 2,000 tests. Uh, like, you know, network, I mean, uh, full CI response time, 10 minutes or so, maybe like 12. And, you know, optimize, optimize, optimize. At some point you hit a roadblock. Um, I see the same problem with end-to-end tests in other places, like um, I talked to Philip and like his company. His tests are taking like maybe 35, 40 minutes. So like performance becomes an issue at scale, right? Not everybody has small repos, isolated repos, you know that. So Cypress needs to pay so much attention, I believe, to core product performance and stability to catch up with uh, the test and uh, play like when it comes to end to end testing. On the other hand, I don't think they can uh, catch up with Cypress's uh, elegant API and developer experience and being in the browser, right? So, the, that those are some of my thoughts. Um, this one repo is called PackJS Example React Consumer. So, this is where, like, the main repo where I did my course with like PackJS and like the full tooling. And uh, it's like a try repo. Um, so you can check it out for yourself. In fact, I'm thinking about a course where like I'll add playwright and retest to the try repo and that's going to be like a full course. So like you fully learn and master playwright end to end testing and you'll be able to compare the cycles. I mean, you don't, you don't have to go through the course like I just put it here okay, in this repo, right? I'll change your end to end tests and stuff. But if you want to do it from scratch with me, that's going to be the course. Uh, we'll also do component testing with Playwright as much as we can and compare, but at the same time, we'll do uh, component testing with retest. So that's all. Uh, 12 minutes already, but uh, take care and later.